Hallelujah. Praise God. Heavenly Father, we worship you for today. We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you for such a mighty move of your spirit in our lives. We thank you for such a wonderful moment and time of refreshing in your presence. Lord, let your name be glorified and exalted above the heavens. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, Lord God, we are about to look into your word today again. Renew our spirit, quicken our mortal bodies, and revive us to be doers of your word and not just hearers of your word alone in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let the doing power, the work of grace in us, the work of the spirit in us, let it have effect in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So I'm so excited again today to bring God's word to you. And this is the part four series where we are talking about love. Remember, like I said before, in the entire of December, we'll be discussing about love based on scripture. And we'll be learning to love how God loves. And we'll also be seeing the importance of God's love over us as individuals and as human beings here on earth. Praise the Lord. So our key scripture today, because today we'll be talking about obedience. So our key scripture today will be John chapter 14, verse 15. John chapter 14, verse 15. It says, it's a very short um, scripture there. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. This is Jesus speaking. He's saying, if you love me indeed, like you claim, you know, we all claim we love Jesus. We love Jesus. We love Jesus. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So powerful. So powerful. So if you profess your love for Jesus, then you must be willing to sacrifice and obey God. You must be willing to do the biddings of the Lord. You must be willing to go where God has sent you to go. If you love Jesus, if you love him, keep his commandments. This is what he's saying. So this is not about claiming that you love God, you love God, you love God, but indeed you are not loving him. So if you love someone, you must be able to do something for that person. Remember, you'll be doing those things like people that are in relationships. You'll be so conscious of the kind of things you do to your partner. Or those that are in marriage, you'll be so conscious of the kind of things you do to your partner because you love your partner. You know the, the likes and the hates of your partner. So if you do those things your partner hates, you know you're setting up problem for yourself. <laughs> as an individual in marriage or in a relationship you know you are setting up a bag of trouble for yourself so this is what the lord also wants us to know we are in relationship with god we claim we love god then we must be ready to hate those things god hates and to love those things god loves and to also do those things that god said we should do so if god said you should preach the gospel if the lord has also said you should reach out to the poor if the lord has also said you should pray and have fellowship with him to build your own spirit man if the lord has also said you should evangelize if the lord has also said you should sacrifice by giving or sowing seed you must do these things this is what will strengthen your relationship with him so today our anchor scripture is on obedience if you love the lord obey him praise god i also want to share another scripture with us in the book of john chapter 15 i want to read from verse 10 yeah john chapter 15 i'll just read verse 10 and then i'll jump down to verse 16 john chapter 15 verse 10 he said if you keep my commandments you shall abide in my love even as i have kept my father's commandment this is jesus speaking even as I've kept my father's commandment and abide in his love. So Jesus is telling us here that if we keep his commandments, if we obey him, we will abide in his love. <laughs> and obeying God is not just for the betterment of God. God really has nothing much to do with our obedience. It's just for us to align, to become like him, to abide in his love. Because when we obey him, we are abiding in him. We are learning to build and strengthen our relationship with the father he said if we abide and obey him we abide in his love and then he will continue to extend his hand of fellowship and you begin to see blessings unlimited miracles unlimited the enemy can never come near your space to attack you or to take away something from you because god has loved you so much with an everlasting love and god is so jealous of you but note that there's a condition here in every blessings of god there are conditions attached oh yes 
there are conditions attached actually our god is a merciful god and sometimes god can overlook some kind of things but for you to really build up that relationship with god there are some conditions that are attached remember that we didn't love god first he's the one that loved god look at what the bible said the same john chapter 15 I read verse 16, John chapter 15, verse 16. He said, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. So notice here in the first line, he said, You have not chosen me. You are not, you are not the one that chose to love God. <laughs> it is him that chose to love us first. We are only trying to abide under his love that's the truth so you are not the one that started the love he's the one that loved us he remember what he said that he loved us with an everlasting love and he also made us understand that since the foundation of this world his love has been in existence so if we truly love the lord we must learn how to be obedient to instructions we must learn how to respect the word of god we must learn how to respect the teachings we must learn how to comport ourselves in the presence of the lord we must know how to be how to be vulnerable before God. Let him see those weaknesses that you have. Let him see those things that you have, those challenges that you have. Let him examine you from time to time. You present yourself before the Lord. Say, Lord, examine me. Search me. This is the prayer of the psalmist. He says, search me, O God, and know my ways. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me to the everlasting light. These are the things we do before the presence of the Lord. We naked ourselves. Because we are nothing but just instruments. We are nothing but just vessels. We are nothing but just testaments of God's goodness and mercy and love. So, if we must reciprocate this thing the lord is not asking us for too much and moreover he has also made us understand that we cannot do these things except he be with us we cannot actually love him back except he helps us to love him we cannot actually do his will except he helps us in doing them remember he said it is not by your will (laughs) take note it's not by our will it's not by our intention all these things are by the spirit all these things are by the spirit (laughs) <laughs> you see the flesh profited nothing it is the spirit that quickened our mortal bodies the flesh cannot do anything the flesh does not even love god forget about what our mouth will be saying it is the spirit of god in us that is yearning to reciprocate the love of the father and father oh god we present everyone here before you as many of you that are not yet born again oh this is a special moment for you you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. You want to experience the love of the Father. Open up your heart this moment. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll hand over this ones to you. Lord, your love has been existing from the foundation of this world. And that is why you are reaching us, reaching out unto us as men. You want to extend your love to us. You want us to be beneficiaries of your love. Therefore, Father, spread your love abroad this moment. Lord, recover the souls that are gone far away. And we pray for us, many all over the world that are going through life without direction, without aim. Recover them, O God, and align them to your path in the name of Jesus. And help us to be obedient children of your word. Help us to be obedient children. Help us to be children that will be obedient to your word and instructions by your spirit. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Have a great, powerful, and excellent day today. The blessings of the Lord that make it for riches and added no sorrow. Let it be your portion. In Jesus' blessed name we pray. See you tomorrow on the part 5 series. And then we'll be having a great weekend from tomorrow. God bless you. Remember to engage in our other posts that will be coming up on our social media platform. Like the prayer. And then we also have some Bible verses for the day. And then other contents that are going to be coming your way from time to time. Keep yourself abreast with the content at DDW Jesus. And then remember to share this video to your loved ones, to your friends, and to your family. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.